Next question. For both series as well as parallel circuits, which statement is true? Options are the voltage drops are additive, powers are additive, resistances are additive, currents are additive. If we parallel, a series circuit, that is across the voltage V. We have the same current and resistance flow at the same time. The voltage drop is different. That is R1 across the voltage drop V1. R2 across the voltage drop V2. We have the series circuit. The current is same. The voltage is the same. The additive is the Total voltage is the V1 plus V2. Ini, nama kita parallel circuit itu, nama kita itu yang jalan dah ana. Parallel circuit itu, nama kita nongki kaya ni al. Nama kita yang current I yang tu barai, ini tu ada dua current I itu divide dia. I one, I two itu divide dia. Paksa voltage yang tu barai, ini tu ada yang ikim. Voltage itu same aja ikim. So total current I one yang tu barai, ini tu I one plus I two I itu anu beri ni. Lepas tu, nama kita yang tu ana parallel circuit itu, current sah additive. Paksa voltage yang tu barai, ini tu same aja. Ini rancu circuit itu lelai, nama kita parayaan betul ni entah macam mana. Rancu lelai power nu orang ini dah ada, macam DC ada. Macam ada ni berde, ini resistor induce consume jenah power plus, ini consume jenah power ada ni DC mana mana dah. Aduh, kalau ni berde ni entah mana DC ada itu mana mana dah. Alat current voltage ni entah parayaan, nama kita ikhlas macam series circuit lelai, parallel circuit lelai, hari macam club bi itu nama kita parayaan betul lelai. Nama kita entah rancu lelai club bi ini parayaan betul lelai. So power ni entah parayaan ni dah, rancu circuit lelai entah mana DC mana ni nama kita parayaan betul lelai. So option B ayer kita nama dah answer. Powers are additive. Alah voltage atau current are additive. Waduh, itu specific circuit ni, nama kita perayaan betul. Tapi series circuit ni, ane kita nama kita voltage are additive tu perayaan. So nama kita parallel circuit ni, ane kita current are additive tu perayaan. Sebab dua circuit ni club bi itu perayaan, nama kita ni perayaan macam powers are additive tu nama kita perayaan betul. So option B ayer kita answer. Next question. Dynamometer type instruments can be used for. Dynamometer type instruments we use here in AC and DC. 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 We use here in AC and dynamometer type instrument. So, option C is the answer. Both AC and DC. Next question. The actuating quantity for the relays can be Option A magnitude, phase angle, frequency and any of the above. That is one relay of actuating quantity. We know that one relay is in abnormal conditions. We place the PTs and CTs in the power system in the power system. So, we place the PTs and CTs in the power system. We place the PTs and CTs in the power system. We place the PTs and CTs in the power system. We place the PTs in the power system. We place the PTs in the power system. So, we place the PTs in the power system. So, the relay voltage and the current in the power system is in the power system. Alanggil itu selalu ada dengan phase angle ayer kiam, alanggil itu selalu ada dengan frekuensi ayer kiam. Edu beranggil ayer kiam, madah actuating quantity ayer itu, nama dah relay actually idukan dah. So, nama kita ada no option D ayer kiam, beranda any of the above. Alanggil voltage, alanggil current ayer, edu value beranggil ayer. Betul itu bi magnitude, alanggil frekuensi, alanggil phase angle, edu beranggil ayer, nama kita relay ayer actuating quantity ayer itu, nama kita idukan dah. So, option D ayer kiam, nama dah answer any of the above. Next question, the unit of relative Permeability. Henry, Henry per meter, Henry per square meter, dimensionless. We are saying relative permeability. We are saying that mu r is the letter we are representing. Mu r is the flux density in medium divided by flux density in vacuum. We are saying that mu r is the expression we are saying, or definition we are saying. This is the flux density produced in a medium divided by the flux density in vacuum. That's why we call it relative permeability. So, we have two dimensions. Now, we have two dimensions. What is mu r? Mu r is a dimensionless quantity. But, mu is the value of mu. The permeability is the unit of mu. What is the unit of mu? What is the unit of mu? Henry per meter. But, relative permeability is the permeability of mu. Relative is the relative. We can cancel the unit of mu. We can cancel the dimensionless quantity. So, relative permeability is a dimensionless quantity. If you have a question, if you have a permeability, you can cancel the unit of mu. Henry per meter is relative permeability. That is a Dimensionless quantity. Clear or not? Next question. Which of the following is a ferromagnetic material? That is an option. Nickel, Copper, Aluminium, Tungsten. We use a ferromagnetic material. We use a material. Iron, 
നിക്കൽ കൊബാൾട്ട് ഈ മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് ഒക്കെയാണ് നമ്മൾ മെയിൻ ആയിട്ടും ഫെറോമാഗ്നറ്റിക് മെറ്റീരിയൽ ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ ഓപ്ഷനിൽ തന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് എന്താണ് നിക്കൽ ആണ് തന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് അല്ലെ സോ ഓപ്ഷൻ എ നിക്കൽ ആയിരിക്കും ഇത് തന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് ഒരു ഫെറോമാഗ്നറ്റിക് മെറ്റീരിയൽ യൂഷ്വലി നമ്മൾ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഫെറോമാഗ്നറ്റിക് മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് ആണ് അയൺ നിക്കൽ കൊബാൾട്ട് മുതലായവ